love. G'day, g'day. Okay, I'm like a coil spring ready for action. What's our mission? Well, we're going to show that junk food advertising is affecting our kids, and in particular, that it has a direct impact on what they actually eat. And I've got a secret weapon. Oh, hello, Mr Bond. <laughs> These are combat glasses. Ooh, like actual combat? Yeah, so they're actually originally developed by the military to be used by soldiers to scan the environment and to understand combat readiness. But in a world first, an Australian researcher has actually adapted them to track the influence of junk food advertising on children. Oh, wow. So also scanning for threat. <laughs> <laughs> So there's one camera looking out onto the environment that mm -hmm. will scan the street and identify where junk food advertising is, and the other camera will scan the eyes of the child to work out if it's actually changing that child's behaviour. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, can, can oh, I... No, you're going to go and join the experts to see the results. Yeah. I'm going to join Arlo on the street okay. and put these things into action. So you're doing the fun stuff. <laughs> no, I get it, it's all right. <laughs> all right, let's go. Oh. Uh, excuse me, Magda on board. <laughs> National Treasure coming through, please move aside. <laughs> Our 007 is eight-year-old Arlo. And the groundbreaking scientist who's designed this weapon is his mother, Associate Professor Catherine Backholer. So the data that we're capturing is pupil dilation, which represents arousal, uh -huh. the number of blinks, which is attention, and then how long he gazes on it. The combat glasses are also equipped with AI, artificial intelligence, that detects exactly what comes into Arlo's field of vision. And then this box here is our AI system working in the background that's recognised a junk food ad. If we now switch to some of the data that we've collected in the background, here we have eye gaze duration. You can see the graph's pretty constant till we get towards the end with this spike here. And this coincides perfectly when Arlo's looked at the tram. And what it shows is that the time he spent looking at the tram is longer than the time he spent looking at any other object. How do you know it's not just, say, the movement of the tram, it's actually specifically the junk food advertisement that's grabbing his attention? Can you tell? Yeah, we can because of this green dot here. So we know exactly that he's yeah. focused on that junk food ad at right. that point of time. The data collected here provides a detailed picture of exactly how our kids are being set up for a lifelong love affair with junk food. <laughs> 